It's been a while since I've uh, shot a video. Uh, here's one I was actually supposed to shoot on my ride out to Indianapolis. I'm in Indianapolis. This Joker is the Wayfair by Sereno. Next on Lancer Life. I had a number of cigars that I intended to smoke on the long drive out here to Indianapolis. The uh, only cigar that I actually prepared notes for and was prepared to review that I smoked was the uh, Quesera or Quesera by M. Bombay. This is another one. Uh, the Sereno uh, company, uh, cigar company, produces the Wayfarer. Uh, it's a cigar that I've uh, been introduced uh, by a friend of mine at uh, Wooden Indian Tobacco. Here he is. Sure, Charles. This is Dan from Wooden Indian Tobacco Shop, introducing the Wayfarer by Sereno Cigars. A very tasty Nicaraguan cigar. Does have a Ecuadorian Corojo 99 wrapper on the exterior. The binder is Jalapa Valley Nicaraguan and the filler is Nicaragua. Very tasty smoke, price point just under $10, from six and change up to nine for the 109 size, that's our Toro. Fantastic cigar, one of my favorites. Come in and grab one. It's been raining cats and dogs here, uh, and when it hasn't been raining, it's been snowing. Like last weekend, we had like eight, nine inches of snow. There wasn't no outdoor smoking. There wasn't no going anywhere in the Mustang. So I haven't had an opportunity to shoot uh, many videos. But uh, uh, as Dan said, this is a really good, good, good cigar uh, at a really uh, nice price point. I am smoking the 109 here. Uh, this cigar comes in uh, about five sizes. Let me look at my notes. We have the 4x46 Robusto, the Corona 5 and an 8 by uh, 44 the Corona Gorda, which is a 6 and 3 quarter by 43 the Dahlia 5x52, and the 109, which is a 6 and a quarter by 50 ring gauge. Uh, 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 right in the a, in a, in a, in a sweet spot for me in terms of, of sizes. So, um, the Dahlia is distributed by the APS uh, distributors, which is really a, uh, a formation of three separate companies. I'll get into more detail on those companies on the blog at www.thelancerlife.com. But the flavor profile uh, that's advertised on the site for this is... You know, some nuts, earth, leather, cinnamon, uh, with a slight uh, chocolatey finish on the end. Um, but this is a cigar that I've been smoking for about a month uh, uh, since uh, Dan at Wooden Indian introduced it to me. Um, here's a look at the Wooden Indian Tobacco Shop. Great guys uh, out in Havertown. Uh, Pennsylvania off of Westchester Pike and Eagle Road very good to me uh, Dan and Dave and the guys there John they know me well enough uh, that they uh, are able to suggest cigars that I would like or something that's interesting something I should try for the blog and the video I appreciate those guys a lot and I give them a lot of love on the videos this is a unusual I will say Nicaraguan cigar yes you have filler from Esteli and Jalapa but I think the Ecuador Corojo uh, 99 wrapper gives this a little bit of something else uh, I think that's where that milk chocolate is going to come from uh, and some of that uh, 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 spicy cinnamon the nuts and earth and the leather are going to come from that uh, uh, you know, that uh, Nicaraguan filler, but 
unlike most Nicaraguan cigars, this is not a flamethrower. Um, you get character uh, out of this, but you don't get that mind-bending heat. So uh, this this is is an unusual uh, Nicaraguan cigar. Early on, earth and leather, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Um, now, I usually smoke the Corona, so this is the first time I've had uh, the, the 109. So uh, I'm thinking that maybe it'll take a little longer for some of the things I like to develop, but that's okay. Um, the Wayfarers, uh, uh, I, I can't, can't tell you how long they've been around. Uh, but the story goes that uh, Carson Serino, uh, you know, the uh, guy who came up with the Wayfarer, went on a trip backpacking to Iceland <clears throat> and wanted <coughs> uh, some cigars to enjoy while he was backpacking. Well, you go to any place in Europe, uh, you're going to get lots of Cuban cigars. You go to Iceland, you're probably not going to get the best selection there are. So... He, of course, was able to get his hands on some of the traditional Cuban cigars. Like Cuban cigars, got back and decided he wanted to kind of develop his own. Went to Nicaragua uh, uh, and met with uh, folks, I can't remember the uh, uh, tobacco era that he went to. Worked with them to start forming his own uh, label. And the result is the Wayfair. Uh very Cubanesque. Uh, key is in how they do their cap work. I'm gonna try to get that uh, close in without altering the light. Um, but uh, he liked the Nicaraguan fillers and 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 what they had to offer. Um, but uh, I think the Ecuadorian Corojo 99 is is a key uh, piece to this. Sometime soon, I'm going to do some series on some of the wrapper tobaccos because I think as we begin to understand and like our tobaccos and like our cigars, I think understanding more about the ingredients will help us enjoy the, the flavors and things like that we get. Um, and so I think that's going to be next. Now, cool smoke, uh, which you should expect at a 50 gauge cigar. For some of you that are new, the, the larger the ring gauge, the cooler the smoke. Um, the narrower the ring gauge, the more uh, hot the tobacco will get. Um, but the benefits of narrow ring gauges is the ratio of wrapper leaf to filler leaf is higher on a narrow cigar. There's just less filler tobacco, uh, but you still need to wrap it in something. And so a, the same cigar, uh, same blend, depending on the size you get, you have an opportunity to get different flavors. And so, like I said, this is the first time I've ever smoked, smoked this guy. Uh, balance. My definition of balance means that I don't over salivate and my mouth isn't dry. I don't have anything out here in the car to drink, so that's a good thing. Um, the burn line is going pretty, pretty, pretty good there. I'll rotate that around for you. Well constructed cigar. Normally I would have taken a separate video, but uh, I'm going to have to do this like this and let you get a good look at that. That's a nice looking cigar. Uh, the uh, wrapper, the Corojo, has kind of a reddish hue to it. Uh, it's not lumpy, nice, solid, tight. You know, you can squeeze on that. It has got a lot of give, doesn't crunch. Uh, it's been in good shape. It's been in the box for about uh, uh, a week. And I keep moving back and forth because depending on where I sit, uh, the light dark from this overcast day reflects and, and has an effect on the picture. Um, nuttiness is starting to come through and the cinnamon spice, it's really cinnamon spice, the kind of heat you get from cinnamon with cinnamon candy is starting to show through and the finish is a little creamy, a little creamy 
uh, and maybe it'll be that milk chocolatey finish later on as I get down towards the end. But I'm not going to hang with you for the whole time on the cigar because, as I've said many times, you probably make up your mind on whether you like a cigar or not right here. Um, now, what I have learned, though, is the best part of the cigar are between here and here. So I'm enjoying it, but it's not the best part of the cigar. The right thing for me to do would be to wait and let it heat up and then tell you more about it. But I don't have to because I've smoked the Wayfair before. Here's what I will tell you. You will get that milk chocolatey finish. It will be a little bit creamy and it will develop an edge. It will get edgy. So for you full body cigar smokers, don't sleep on this because this does have a little bit of snap and pop to it. But it's not overbearing. It's not overpowering. To me, I want to enjoy a cigar. I don't want the cigar to gobble me up. Uh, and the Wayfair will give you all that. So, uh, look for it. Tobacconist uh, ought to have it now. I, I, I'm not sure. When I do my research, it's not a limited production cigar. Um, but it is, I would call, uh, a boutique blend right now. So, uh, go to a place that carries boutique blends and get yourself a couple of these sticks. You will enjoy it. Wayfair by Sereno Cigar Company. Thank you for uh, watching and uh, for more videos, click the subscribe button, go to see some of the things I've already done, but also I'm asking people go to www.thelancerlife.com, go to the contact us page, sign up because soon I will be doing a free, 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 free newsletter love to have you subscribe and uh i'll be able to get some of my content to you directly love you peace be safe out there